way. Let's get this started. Uh, one more shout out to Explosive Media. Oh man, live chat looks like F the city. Wait, why? Oh, family. Why, why'd you say F the family, my dude? Making her way to the ring from Houston, Texas. Ooh. The WWE That's right, Nikki won her US title. United States Champion. She cashed in the and terror. she won it from. Fuck, who'd she take it from? I have to go back and watch. I can't remember. Why'd you say that? Wait, Nick. I thought AK City, though, was a part of, um... I, I thought your character was adopted by uh, si by the uh, City Central. Except for her. She's part of the City Empire, which is Nico, and no one gives a fuck about Nico. Oh, Jennifer Justice, that's who it was. And her opponent. No wonder they're in a rivalry right from now. From Miami, Florida, Jennifer Justice. I'm asking off for Jennifer Justice. To a beautiful start. Oh my god, that slap though cut things off. Beautiful suplex by uh, Nikki City. Yeah, Nikki City. Uh, it says Ross Mac. Wait, I hope it doesn't say Ross Mac. Hold the fuck on. I thought I fixed that. Ha! I guess I and I can't change my title. Son of a bitch. What if I pull? I'll, I'll have to change it once this goes on YouTube. God darn it. It must not have saved. It's supposed to say Infinity Tag, uh, the Infinity uh, Tag Division War. What a bot. Oh, well, when it uploads to YouTube, I'll fix it. I'll fix it when I upload it to YouTube. Th thank you for pointing that out. I changed it. Must not. I don't know what the fuck I did. Unless I changed it, checked my message, and then went back without checking it again. I don't know. Done me. Oh God. This is out of the um. Oh God. Beautiful right hook by Jennifer. For those of you. Now, for those of you who are new to this series, either watching on Mixer or on YouTube. Uh, let me just clarify, Nikki City is part of the City Empire, which is run by Nico and his wife, Nikki. They are accompanied by Neville and their son, Scar City, and TJP, apparently. Uh, Jennifer Justice represents the law, or the authority figures, in all three shows. Uh, the authority figures are Jennifer Justice herself, uh, Prince, Mc Prince McCall, Ian Taylor Ronnie, and uh, Officer Tim. The corporate... The people who are in charge of the shows, because you got the authority, they lay down the law. Now the pe main people in charge of all three shows are the Council of Gods. Those are the Duke God, Pepsi God, Cola God, God, and God himself. Beautiful drop kick by Jennifer Justice. So it would make sense that Nikki would go after Jennifer Justice, because it's a typical villain thing to do for the bad guy to defy, you know, authority figures. Oh my god. And then one other thing, because uh, uh, my live viewer here, Nick, just, remind, just reminded me of this. Um, City Empire, well, it didn't remind me, but it, it, I reminded myself because of the comment. Uh, it reminded me City Central and City Empire are in a bit of rivalry right now. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. City Central is uh, the good side of the family. They are represented by Trey, Brooke, Trinity, Prodigy, 
and Q. Uh, the bad side of the family, the City Empire, is again, as I've stated before, Nikki City, Neville, TJP, uh, Scar City, who is trying to get out, or I'm hoping someone can get him out, because right now he's in a bad, he, he, he's the abusive son of Nikki and Neville, of uh, Nikki and uh, uh, Nico. And for some reason, nobody wants to rescue him. I mean, there's rumored that, you know, um, there is rumored that uh, the dynasty's looking at him, but that's just the stick at the city central, I don't know. But yeah, all caught up about these two characters. I do like the main event. What was the main event of this show? I don't know, there was one match in here I, lo uh, I can't wait for. What I can't wait for is the pay-per-view of Elimination Chamber. That's going to be amazing. We are going to have a lot of titles on the line. Let me tell you what. Oh, beautiful kick by a... Uh, oh, and a face bomb. Go to the cover. Quick kick out by uh, Jennifer. Those are the top row. Going for... Oh! Oh, knees are up. Try to go for the twisted Nikki, but Jennifer able to get the knees up. Pops up, goes for the power bomb. Pin. And Nikki with the pin. Oh, this is two out of three. I didn't know that. So this is a two out of three count. Jennifer with the submission. Is Nikki gonna tap? Is Nikki gonna tap? Yo, she's right there and she taps. Does she? I think she does. No, she gets out of it. I thought she tapped. Never mind, the bell didn't ring. So if I'm correct, this is one. This is one slam. I thought she tapped, but we're after to call it. Showboating there. I'm telling you, some, somebody. Somebody's gotta rest. Skull City from that abusive family. Like, and, and it's not Nikki that's the abusive one. It's it's Nico and that would pin at them. One on one. It's one to one now. Last pin attempt for the win. Yeah, two out of three match. But um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, but yeah, it's it's, it's not Nikki. Nikki just. Turns a blind eye while her husband Nico, his partner Neville, I'm assuming TJP's in on it too. I don't know. I didn't even see the timer right there. Oh my god, the live chat was blocking it. Ooh, dirty pin. Two. Oh, kick out. I didn't even see the timer there. That's hilarious. Beautiful Hurricane Rana. But yeah, as I was saying, it is mostly just the husband and. Uh, his partner Neville that does the abuse, uh, the uh, abusive actions. I mean, Nikki is just as responsible. She turns a blind eye. She doesn't stand up. Again, near pinfall. Jennifer stays in this. Now, I we will be having. Stomp to Jennifer Justice. Uh, the pay per view coming Saturday for the Elimination Chamber. We will be having the title on the line. Nikki, Nikki City with the win. Oh, this just keeps going. Okay, so I guess whoever gets the most pin when the timer runs down. Okay. I didn't see the timer, so I guess we're waiting for the timer. I didn't know that. So right now, Nikki's got the most pins. Um, as I was saying, though. Ooh, that one's on. What was that, man? Yeah, as I was saying, guys, though, I mean, put your guys' thoughts in the comments below, like either live chat or YouTube chat. I mean, do you think Nikki's got to step up and save her son? Ooh, beautiful uh, roundhouse kick there. Pen attempt by Jennifer. Or, um, like, who do you guys think is going to rescue Scar City? Or is he just going to stay in this family? Uh-oh. Submission locked in. 
The Justice Lock. Justice Lock is in. She gonna tap. Oh God, Nikki taps. Nikki taps. So that's that's probably like two and one right now. No, three and one. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. See. Going for the cover. A beautiful pin attempt. Uh, six three. Okay. So we got a long way to go for um, in this Iron Man match. Oh, Jennifer with the beautiful reversal. Jennifer, oh Jennifer though. Did I say Jennifer twice? Did I say Nikki had the reversal? Don't me and my botchers. There we go. Now Nikki with the reversal. Showboating going on. Thought it was going to be. God. Oh no, not again! Stop! for the cover. Oh, maybe not. Impressive. Why did she not go for the cover? That curve stomp. Perfect cover opportunity. And this is probably oh beautiful drop. No reversal. Ooh, Russian leg sweep. Nikki now, again with the pin attempt. Oh, and Jennifer kicks out. Uh, give me one minute. That's like five or seven. Right, so we'll be in one minute. Right? Oh my god, a city kick. Damn. Nikki with another another one in there go. Oh my god, what a city spear. What a spear in midair. And a slap of disrespect. Beautiful Northern Light suplex goes for the cover and a kick out for the count to even begin. That spear though for midair. Jennifer now. Things aren't looking good for Nikki. Uh oh, the Justice Lock. Justice Lock is locked in. Will she tap? Is she gonna tap? Nikki with the tap. Jennifer Justice, another another uh, pin under her victory. Pretty sure we're in the three minute mark. Damn, three minutes already. Now, for those of you watching on YouTube, I I'm sorry that if I I can't see the timer right now. So if the thing paused like it just did, that's because I had to click the button. I mean, Nick, I mean, with that comment about Brooke or AJ, I mean, there was one time where you had either two girls, or there was the time you went Justice Lock locked in, or there was the time you went from one girl to another one like that, and another one right after that. I mean, I don't know. That's just me, though. Jennifer, though, that Justice Lock twice.
I thought she was going for an arm bar. Oh my god. I was about to fucking say. I was about to fucking say. It's the cover. Fucking kick up. Not kick out. Yeah, kick out. I was right. Did or didn't? Because the chat that did, I don't know if you did or didn't. Oh, Nikki, another pin. Are we already in the one minute mark? This place we are, wow. I can't imagine going fast. Pretty sure Trey didn't have it at the same time either. It was either Brooke then AJ, or AJ was first and then Brooke. guys um i gotta go for a bit um i'm gonna let this match go and then we're gonna go to a short admission so after this match is over it i'm not i won't be able to click next match that'll be the admission right there so just give me a few moments i'll be right back
I am back, people. Sorry for that e shorty mission break. I don't know if it was short or long, but sorry for that break. I had to let my dogs out. We are back. And of course, Nikki City won because she had the most pins. Though I was hella surprised to see uh, she tapped out multiple times to the uh, um, Justice Lock. And now it is tag team action with the Z Fighters versus Respawn. Now this one might be challenging. Because Broly's a big dude, and I'm pretty sure Respawn has never faced anybody like Broly before. Well, Goku too, but still. So we have Respawn going up against the Z Fighters, which apparently Goku was able to turn Broly, you know, into a good guy. Which, imagine! If Goku was able to recruit Bro Broly into the Tournament of Power, you you think they would dominate? Well, maybe not dominate, but you think they, they, they... I don't know, you know what I mean? Like, do you think that, that would have made some kind of change if they added Broly in the mix? Alright, our, our superstars are getting ready in the back as we speak. Just give them a hot lickety split minute, guys. Wow, DC Universe is still reinstalling. I'm pretty sure Apex is um done installing. I have to check that out. Here comes Ranger. Big fluffy man, big fluffy puppy. It's better I don't have my if I have my webcam on, you guys could see. You you guys could see Fanny Man. Look at the fluffy puppy, the big puppy. Up up up. Up up up. Oh, fat boy went up. All right, there we go. Ba boom, bada bing, bada boom. Don't forget, guys. Check out my sponsor, Into the AM, with your promo code Mystical Savior, as well as we are coming up with well, not we, but my media is working on having their own merch shop as well. But you can always check out Explosive Media merch in the Team Do shop. Link will be in the description below. And here they come. On the hmm. way to the ring, at a combined weight of 539 pounds. Oh my God, pounds, you big boy! Brody and the of mass destruction. You know, this just brings up a good question: What would Goku and Broly? either look like what would they be called if they fused how powerful would they be like would it be goalie or broku i actually like broku broku sounds fucking boss leave a comment down below guys what do you think would it be broku or what did i say broku or wait Oh yeah, Broku or Go Lee. Either or sounds pretty badass, but Broku, I don't know if some reason just. Mm. And here comes the opponent. Now this is something new we haven't seen in 2K19, because in 2K18. Respawn was made up of Spawn and Nemesis. But with Nemesis, you know, doing his own thing, he personally handpicked Mystic Overlord, ex-member of the Legion, to fill in for him here. 
so far, I think he fitted in well with the respawn. Like, him and spawn work so great together. Like, I, I think he makes a great addition to uh, respawn. Again, you guys let me know in the in the comments below. Now, I shouldn't take all the credit and for uh, the At tag name of respawn. Of 465 pounds. The legend, the warlock, and the assassin, the disciples of darkness. Now, it's double saying. I shouldn't take, I, I'm not gonna take all, the whole credit for creating Respawn. Respawn was, was created in the WWE universe over at Prince Macal. Check out his channel. That's Prince Macal, M C C A L. This is a tornado match. And Broly goes right after the Mr. Govalor. But Goku got in the way. Mmm. Spawn immediately going after Broly. Goku over with the Mr. Govalor. Oh my god. Mr. Govalor taking the beginning to payback. Oh, the brute strength. And the strength of Goku. Going for that double sidewalk slam. Sideways slam, I should say. Oh my god, triple! Mr. Goldworld looking on Broly in the corner. Jesus. And some showboating going on on Goku's behalf. Looking on the arm of Broly. I mean, this, this is new for Reese. They, they have never faced Saiyans before. But that doesn't seem to be stopping Mr. Goldblatt. Spawn on the other hand, I don't know. Deadlift powerbomb by Goku. Broly not doing so well. Go I don't know why Goku's not helping out Broly. Like, Broly's getting shrecked right now. I feel like I want to add that in my merch store. It's like, on, on a shirt, it says, get Shrek. It's like, Rack, but it's Shrek. Or like yeet. Oh my god, that was like a spinning sidewalk slam. Oh! Broly with the clothes on. Beautiful uh, ring awareness by Broly. Oh my god, what a spine buster! Goku spinning spawn around. Now the Sea Fighters are on the offense. Oh, I think Goku's going for the cover. Yes, he is. Beautiful kick out. Oh my god. Choke slam. I think it was a choke slam. I don't know. Vicious strength from Broly. Broly with now with the, with the finisher. Broly wants to finish this. Oh god, no. Mr. Goldblum, a taste of his own medicine. Choke slam. Irish whip by Goku over the ropes. Broly with the pin. And the Z Fighters pick up the win. They have defeated Respawn. Oh my god, Broly just decimated Mr. Here I mean, Mr. Golden Lord was good at first. But then once Broly saw the, the opening, he took that opening. Weapons of mass destruction. Like, I like Broly's and the Z Fighters. I wish in the show they'd make fucking Broly, you know, fight with them. Holy fuck, though. I like how Goku's not Super Saiyan, but Vegeta is. Like, Goku's like, yeah, you know what, Vegeta? I'll let you go Super Saiyan Blue. I don't need it, but you do. <laughs> Alright, so we got the Hills of Galactus against the family of Mustang and Spirit, the two brothers. So we got the two fighter we got the two brothers going up against the hills of Galactus themselves. Now for those of you who haven't watched the previous episodes, the Hill of Galactus are spreading a message and the dominance. They they are telling us Galactus is coming. 
and he will bring destruction and despair to all three shows, to this whole universe. I mean, right now, the Hales have been dominating on their own. But when Galact Galactus gets here, things are going to change from what they're telling us. Now, we don't know when Galactus is going to make an appearance. It could be Elimination Chamber. It could be WrestleMania. Who the fuck knows? Right? Who the fuck knows? It's all up to them. Oh, my God. I hear... Oh, my chin, actually. Got Ranger looking. It was either looking at his paw or looking at the fucking, um... The mattress. I don't know. Uh, we got our fighters. Still preparing in the back. We still have yet to be... Not be, um... We still have yet to reveal who the fourth horseman is. Because right now, the hills of Galactus are basically the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Right now, we know of three. Silver Surfer, Lord Dragon, and Drago. We have yet to have been informed who the fourth horseman is. It is somebody in one of the shows. So it could be a superstar in Raw Smack. It could be a custom superstar in VWE. But there is a double crosser within our mess. Um, put in the comments below who you think the fourth horseman is. Uh, if you don't know all the superstars, um, feel free to rewatch the last, I think it's three episodes of my 2K19 My Universe mode. On the way to the ring. I mean, one 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 person on my pounds, list. On, the villain, this, yeah. Tommy Oliver, and the superstar, the Four Horsemen. Now, as I was saying, my prediction. I don't know if it's true or not, but there's some. Uh, allegations and some rumors flying around that Trevor was seen multiple times with the hills of Galactus so he's potentially a witness not witness um, a suspect to being one of the, the to being the fourth horseman that's just who I mean we have plenty of other uh, plenty of other people who could be the fourth horseman? The fourth horseman could be a woman. It could be Candy Vago. It could be Black Bat, Tara Roth. Could be Mystic Overlord, Tara Roth. And Mystic Overlord have been have been on the other side of the coin before. Uh, they're good now, but they they could they could go back. All right. We got the opponents. Look at that, giving the homage to and the um, the homage to the rivalry. Not ri yeah, to the revival. Oh my God, what is going on here? Mercedes and Smash, the Blood Brothers. Oh my God, in a vicious clothesline. Oh geez, swinging a miss there. Another takedown. And a drop kick by Lord Dragon. Oh my gosh. Oh, Mustang. Vicious takedown. Oh, no one's home for that. Oh! We got a power bomb. Oh my god. Step up into the good. These superstars are dominating right now. These superstars are dominating. Oh my god, Dragon with a suplex. Silver Surfer's in the ring. Oh my god, Calf Crusher. Calf Crusher. 
Locked in. Dragon now. Oh my god, what is he doing? And the Drake and the Lord Clash. Oh my god, and Spirit knocked out of the knocked out of the ring. Mustangs having trouble getting up. The Hills of Galact. Oh my god, beautiful. It didn't fully connect, but landed at Mark. Oh my god, and a swinging clothesline. Tag is made. I was in the corner. Top rope. Mustang now in a good spot in an arm drag. Vicious takedown. Tag is made. Lil Dragon now. Roll up. Roll up. And the hills of Galactus. Oh my god. Hills of Galactus pick up a victory. Pretty sure we we have recently got medical reports after last show with Silver Surfer laying the beat down on Kid Bop. Uh, doctors have cleared him for future matches. Um, they are keeping a sharp eye on him though. The Silver Surfer did pre uh, beat him up pretty bad. Here are your winners. The so villain, Kid Bop is able to Tommy wrestle, but Oliver. he is on watch. And the superstar, the four horsemen. Even though there's only three, who is the fourth one? They won't reveal that. We don't know why. What's our next match? I don't think it's the main event. No, it's not the main event. We have the Dynasty. Well, Nick Dynasty, but it's now the Dynasty. We don't want to take it off. So we got the Dynasty accompanied by Paige. Going up against the law, Prince Macal, and Officer Tim. What is with everybody and attacking the authority figures? Like, Macal and Officer Tim here are only here to make sure people abide by the law. Like, is that just a bad thing? Like, why does everybody gotta attack the authority figures? Macal and Tim's here just making sure everybody fights fairly, all the rules are being followed, no laws are being Like... First, we got Nikki from Nikki City challenging Jennifer. Now we got the Dynasty challenging the fucking uh, uh, the other half of the Authority, uh, Officer Tim and Prince Miguel, which it probably is going to be in a federal federal offense because Officer Tim is an officer and it's against the law to hit an officer. Is there going to be repercussions? Hell, if I fucking know. The Council and the Authority figures are going to have to talk it through. But again, I'm just like, what the fuck? Why does everyone want to attack the law? They're, they're just there to make sure everyone plays by the rules. Now, for those of you who haven't watched or haven't been kept in, keeping up to date with Prince Macal's... Oh, I'm in a party. Hold on. Uh, but yeah, for those of you who haven't been caught up with um, uh, Prince Macal's channel... Uh, in his 2K18 series, his character Prince Macal uh, passed away, giving his life to defeat, I think, what are the Warlords? Uh, if you're confused, watch this channel, watch the series, recommend it, it's fucking awesome. But using my mystical magic, I was able to bring Prince Macal back, in my universe, that is. He's still dead in his universe, as far as I know. But, for my universe, I was able to bring him back, because magic, duh. But still, though... Why does everybody want to challenge the authority? They're just there. They're, they're, they're basically the police. Yeah, that's right, Nick. Pages. But yeah, the the authority is just there. Why why do people want to challenge the law to a match? They're On just the there to apply. To the they're ring, just there to make sure the law is being followed. Page, at a combined weight so we got Nick and Andrew. 40 pounds, 
the hardcore icon, King Andrew, and the legend. The legend, Nick, yes. We get an announcer. We hired you to announce the names. Sometimes you don't announce the names right, but we, hey, we pay you anyway, announcer. You try. Oh, there was one name. I want to say it was Broly's name or it was someone else's name. The announcer said, and it was and off, coming. but it was First, close enough. From West Virginia. All right, so we got Prince Mikel. Listen, I love the entrances as much as the next guy, but people didn't pay here to see people walk out. They came to see people punch each other's faces in, right? And his partner. So we got Officer Tim. Uh, sure. I'll probably even stream uh, Apex too. Ooh, we got some good tag team. Got a good brother bond going on between uh, Nick and uh, Andrew there. The match is beginning. Nick now, boom, with a vicious takedown. Which, no surprise, because Nick and Andrew were the ones to hold the records for most limitations on 2K19. They had a record of 11-0. Give it your 11 and 0. And that's only for the sheer fact that they were dressed exactly the same. So I couldn't tell who was who, so we had to combine the uh, the eliminations. Nice. McCall now in the corner. Beautiful teamwork by McCall and Officer Tim. I wish with. Now, good news is. I'm these two teams are baby faces. So this isn't good guy versus bad guy. These, these two are good. Oh my god. Beautiful uh, agility there by Andrew. Going for the pin attempt. Oh, off the Tim with the kick out. I mean, I'd rather see Dynasty go up against the law instead of Nikki. Because Nikki is just pure, not pure evil. Trust me, I've seen pure evil. The warlock has fought pure evil, but she's just one of those heels that just gets what she wants. Now, this is a match I, I'd watch. You got the dynasty against the law, and these two superstars are amazing. They're both baby faces. They, they both know how to put on a good fight for good sports. Good sportsmanship. All of them. Beautiful teamwork by the brothers. Oh my god. Oh, and off. The cow wants in, but Nick shuts him down. Nick now with the beautiful, uh, weird, beautiful showboating. I don't know what that was. Uh oh, arm ball locked in. Arm ball, arm ball locked in. He's gonna tap. Oh, and Officer Tim gets out of it. Damage, though, could be done. Nick not in a good spot. Tag is made. I can just replace the name and put it back to AK-47. I got you, Nick. Ooh, Justice Lock is locked in. Oh, Nick Powell's out of it. All I gotta do is just take out City on the coat and then just say AK-47 the name. Beautiful tag is made. Some teamwork going on. Oh, a big boot. Beautiful takedown right there. Oh my god, and a leg drop. And the cow and uh, Tim with the tag on the cow.
beautiful. I think it was a DDT. I don't know. I... Oh my god. Prince Macau. Skull crushing finale. Macau now with the pen. Two. Oh my god. Uh, AK. Barely getting the shoulder up. And the reverse is out of that. Oh my god, that was like a deadlift German. Deadlift German suplex. Nick now. Finisher. Oh my god, that was like a stunner. Into a lock. Oh my god, submission. Will McCall tap? And he does. Match is over. Wait, was he eliminated? Was that the match? No, that was the match. Okay. Oh my god, that was like elimination. Never mind. Oh my god. Oh, we're good. Okay, Dynasty wins. The Dynasty with the win. Oh boy. Oh, the death lock. That's what that was called. Like an AK with the death lock. Oh, God, the eye. The law did the best, though. Let me tell you what. And it was a clean victory, too. So that, that, that's the best thing. The hardcore icon, King Andrew. So the good news is, at least the they uh, at least they won by clean victories, not like the heels do. The family. Got a little loading screen going on. There we go. All right. I know our main event was one on one. Yep. Okay. It is main event time. We have the Reaper against the Beast, Cardia. Oh my god, Raw Smack. I gotta have Brock Lesnar go up against uh, Cardio for the title of the Beast. With fucking Heyman as a champ. Like, whoever becomes the Beast, Heyman is the new manager for him. I might make that Elimination Chamber. Have it a ladder match for the title contract of Beast. Like a contract stating they are the true beast. That'd be an interesting title match. Not title, but that'd be an interesting uh, ladder match. Now, for those of you who haven't or missed my uh, 2K18 series, uh, the Beast Cardio was a former member of the Shadow Paladins. Uh, Shadow Paladins did not come forth in 2K19. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Uh, ever since the King's tremendous sacrifice to stop the Legion in honor of his life or in place of his life, uh, Cardio is still wrestling in honor of his fallen comrade. Uh, the other members of the Shadow Paladins kind of went their own way to do their own thing. I don't know. I like Paul Heyman. Good heel manager. Making his way to the ring. Oh my God! What is this? Weighing in at Oh from behind from the smoke. Cardio emerges from the smoke. Ooh. And a slap. A, ooh, an elbow to the face. Reaper though pushes him down. Oh my god, again. Oh my god. Oh! So dear, I was having luck trying to. Oh 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Reaper now with a slam. Oh, beautiful arm drag. Oh, no. That was an arm drag. Me now. And a neck breaker. The Beast taking this back. Gordillo taking it to the ring. Reaper not far behind. And they get back to the ring. Well, Gordillo's in the ring. Gordillo playing some mind games. Reaper makes it out. And Cardia. Some mind games going on right now. And some knee strikes. Oh, and a face buster. Cardia standing tall. The reason why he was called the Beast. Oh my God, and the swift kicks. Oh my goodness, and the speed of the midsection. Cardia now with the finisher. Can he put him away? He's got him up. The beast slam. Going for the cover. And Cardia picks up the win. Is this rest in peace? I can't remember what the shirt says. Oh. A beautiful win over the Reaper. Here is your winner, Bad Attitude, the Beast. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Elimination Chamber. We're gonna see Brock Lesnar and Cody go at uh, go at it for the for the title of Beast. I hope you all enjoyed, guys. Uh, stay tuned after this shorty mission because you're going to be seeing Apex Legend with the boy, the Warlock. And Bad Bling King, or as you know him, Nick is Crazy Cool from his YouTube channel. Hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you Saturday at Elimination Chamber.